First came the 5.9 magnitude earthquake, then the deaths and destruction. And now people are burying their dead. In this impoverished region of Pakistan, the survivors have to try and rebuild. There is fear all over. We are all from the neighborhood. Almost the whole city will have to spend the night outside. The houses, rooms and verandas are not in a condition to spend the night there. All have been damaged. Most people here live in mud houses. Many of them were unable to withstand the force of the earthquake and collapsed as those inside were asleep. Prime Minister Imran Khan has sent his condolences and promised aid and compensation for those affected. But some say they are still in need of help. We haven't received any help from anyone, nor any of the government officials have visited. We are in extreme distress and are in dire need of help living under open skies after our mud-built homes were completely collapsed. I'm a poor lady with four kids. Despite the fact that I did my master's, I'm unemployed. And that's why I'm worried about how I'll be able to rebuild my house, as winter is approaching and I'm penniless. Some regions are isolated and rescue efforts have been further hampered after roads were blocked by landslides caused by the quake. Hundreds of people are displaced and uh, uh, we are trying to relieve them. Uh, we are thankful uh, to our uh, armed forces and our army for quick transportation by helis uh, to, uh, to the CMH Quetta. Uh, from this spot and uh, we are hopeful that uh, we are uh, doing our efforts to re rehabilitate them. Hospitals in the regional capital Quetta are treating the injured but some of the country's poorest people live in the region's small villages and they will need the most help in the days, weeks and months ahead. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera.